Hi folks, um, I'm going to redo my garage, I'm going to do a makeover in my garage and this is a little video of the before uh, the renovation um, and it should give a good picture and I have to give credit to my sister Rita, um, my dad recently passed away and she went down to his house in Florida and painted his garage and it looks so much nicer, I came home to my house and I was like oh gosh I got to do mine. So. And this is why, if you look at what it used to look like, I would walk in my garage and be like, oh, I want to throw up. So what I did, I got some gray paint, and I started think by thinking I was going to paint the entire floor. And then I got to thinking, like, it's going to look like this in no time, you know, because uh, in Florida, the hot tires come in, and they, the, the rubber leaches out some oil, and I just didn't want to deal with that. So I figured I would go with... Um, Garage Flooring LLC, they do a polymer tile. They kind of snap together. Uh, I did a diamond grid, these are the HDXT tiles. And I did two colors, I'll explain that in a minute. So what I did was, obviously I'm not gonna do red to the door, I'm gonna go up to this ledge, because this ledge here is kind of stepped up, and they can help keep water out in storms and whatnot, I think. But anyway, I'm gonna tile the floor from this edge that way to the door. Dimensions would be 17 across by 17 length. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up colors because it's cool, you get all kinds of patterns and things. I don't wanna get too fancy, but I did wanna use the, the advantage of having some colors. So I'm gonna do six silver, nine gray, and then four silver again. And I think that'll look nice. My walkways will be bright and light, and they're just walkways, so they won't show a lot of wear and tear. In the middle where I park the cars is going to be that dark gray, and that'll help with these tire marks, oil, if I leak any oil or anything like that, muck when we dra drag it in from the rain and everything. I think it'll work pretty good. The cool thing is with the tiles, if, if I want to change or add colors, I just snap some out, pops them out, and put some new ones in if I want. So it's pretty cool. Um, well, that was added. I replaced some stuff. These are brand new totes with the uh, storage racks. Uh, this, these water containers will go in the bottom of that, and that'll get tucked, tucked into the wall there. I have them up because I believe I have to start my tiles on that wall. <clears throat> so I'll move everything kind of back away from that wall, run my tiles, and as I move with the progress with the tiles, I'll move stuff to that side and keep myself going until I'm all done. Um, <clears throat> But they'll end up off the floor over there underneath there. And that, that whole device should tuck up underneath where I have my bike hanging. So that should be pretty pretty good. Um, so I painted on the walls, painted the trim, because the trim needed it in the door. Uh, the house hadn't been painted in quite a while. Um, we used to have a um, central back system, which I removed because we don't use it. I still have some work to do on my workbench. So I did clean it up a little bit. I added some shelves, I painted underneath. I had a white laminate countertop that was all bent and um, delaminating, so I just stuck some, some nice solid oak boards in there and, and boiled linseed oil then. But you can see, I'm gonna run the tiles up to the cabinet, so where those shoes are in your umbrella. That area is just gonna be painted, so that's why I wanted everything to look nice and match. The uh, tiles, will, again, they're gonna be flush with the counter. I'll, I'll cut out for those little feet. But they're going to go to the, right to the bottom of the counter all the way down. I'm not going to do under there. I'm going to have a nice clean line there. Again, the tiles are going to go all the way down. And then just going to tuck underneath this my, where my recyclables are. And I'm keeping some fertilizer down there. And then my garbage can will sit up on that a little bit. But the tiles are going to go right to the door and right across. You can see I've had to edge it in. That way if I'm short, I have my measurements a little wrong. It'll look good. The floor is in rough shape, I will say that. That's why I didn't want to go with paint. And to be honest, over here, the previous owner had a golf cart and the batteries puked and it really messed up the floor. And it just seems like, to me, I was afraid it would always peel. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to slap a tile over there. If the tiles look like, you know, garbage in 10 years, I'll just replace them. Uh, it'll be an easy fix. So I think that's about it. I, I'm going to do the ceiling. Uh, I haven't done it yet because there's a couple things. I want to get rid of this 
I think the owner had some type of convertible top picker upper, you know, a hoist. And I don't need that. I don't, I'm not sure what it is. I think that's what it is. You, you, you use that rod to crank and that lift system goes down and you're, I think you could pick something up with it. So I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, try to tidy up a little bit and I'll clean up my, my workbench on top a little bit and get that organized nice and neat. Declutter a little bit. Cleaning supplies I get put away into the cabinets. And uh, yeah, looks going to look pretty good. It's Monday. The tiles are coming today. So I'm really excited. <clears throat> so thanks, Rita. And um, I'll give you a quick video when I get it done to show you.